What is good guys, it's your boy Drills and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make anything you can think of into a 3D model in a matter of minutes. Harvesting the power of AI, I'm going to be putting you on with the best source that's available right now. So let's get into it. First we're going to be going to Create AI, I'm going to leave the link in the description and basically we're going to be generating an image in Creo just by using a text prompt, nice and simple. So we're going to go to the Flux module and we're going to type in something that we want to create an image of. This image is going to turn into our 3d model so whatever you want to create a 3d model of first we're going to create an image of it so i'm just going to type in 3d graffiti style character of a gang member holding up a pistol with a solid white background don't forget to put a solid white background in there it's going to make our life so much easier and we're going to hit generate now we're going to wait for this to generate and once it has as you can see we've got four images to choose from now i'm probably going to go with this one I kind of do like the one to the right of it, but I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. But of course, whatever you generate is probably going to be different. So we're just going to download this image. And once we've done that, we're going to go to the second site, Rodin. Again, the link is going to be in the description. And we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to open that image and we're going to hit generate. Nice and simple, guys. Now you do get free credits just for signing up. There is a way to pay if you want to buy further credits, but I'll leave that down to you guys. But for now, as you can see, it's already created the base layer 3d model of our image but it is going to get better if you look up here you can see you can make a t pose you can change loads of settings you can actually make a t pose or an a pose character and actually rig it so you could put these in game um there's lots of different settings you can mess around with up here i'm going to be keeping mine nice and simple for now but for you you can obviously do whatever you want but we're going to go with this one we're going to hit ok here confirm and i'm going to say no to that for this model now we're just going to wait for this to generate and as you can see it has generated a proper 3d mesh now you can tell by the kind of polys you can already see that is it's very well structured now we need to generate the material of course again you can play around with these settings and get it how you like it we're going to be keeping it nice and simple for this video guys and there we go look at that guys in a matter of minutes if if even minutes seconds we have created a pretty cool 3d character now you've got some options down here but you're not going to be able to select these until you confirm the material generation once you've done that just hit confirm generate wait for it to generate and then you're going to be able to pick if you want an obj fbx and stuff like that we're going to be sticking with the obj and the 2k textures for now so we're just going to go ahead and hit download and once that's downloaded it's going to download a zip folder you're going to need to unzip that folder and then once you've done that of course we're going to go and open up blender literally all we've got to do now is go to import obj find the obj we've just created and import it into blender nice and simple guys of course we're going to have to add our material has already generated our material you can also get it to generate normal maps and all stuff like that as well and if you look here this is only 35k polys which is really good now we're just going to go ahead and add our image texture we're going to go back to the folder that we downloaded and our uv mapped image is already going to be there we're going to open the image change the viewport and there we go this is going to absolutely change the game guys who's going to spend hours and hours modeling any more when you can get ai to do it for you this is absolute crazy and i hope you go out and make some insane models don't forget you could create pendants and stuff for your chains too if that's what type of stuff you're into but yeah this is the source i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please hit that subscribe button and it's drills i'll see you in the next one